Hi, I'm Lakshmi Pingali, a technical support analyst for the BMC Server Automation Suite products. Today I'll be walking through how to get the license usage report for all the servers in the environment. Since BSA 8.2 version, we automatically license all the servers or agents that are being used in the environment. And if you go to the BSA console, you will see the health dashboard. If you click on this, it will bring up a browser and all the information populated by running this job. So in the background, under jobs folder, BMC maintenance dashboard folder, there is a job called dashboard report job. This needs to be done periodically, which will collect all the information about the health of the environment, including the agents and the licenses. Once the database is populated by running this job, we can use the API or the command line interface to get the license usage report. And let's see how to do that. So I just opened a PowerShell on the Windows console box here. And let's go ahead and acquire the credentials. So we need to use the profile name same as what we use to log into the console here. Once the authentication succeeds, we can go ahead and run the BLCLI command. So the dash V option is for the authentication profile, dash R for the role, and it's in the utility space, and the exact command name is agent license usage report by absolute date range. So we need to give a directory where the report will be so saved, and also the start date and the end date. So the start date I'm giving here is 2017, and then the month, I'm going to give just this month, which is February, first and this is the timestamp and then the gmt offset minus five hours and if i don't give any end date it's going to assume till the present date and pull up the information so let's go ahead and run this and the information is printed out here and it's also stored in the file called report in the, under the temp directory so the year and month is noted here. So for this month in February, I don't have any information. You can see everything is blank. That means there are no servers which are being added or managed during this particular month. So let's go ahead and run it for the previous month, which would be January 2017. So we do have a lot of numbers here. So let's analyze these numbers. So start date is January 1st, end date is February 8th, which is today. So the current date. So the maximum managed servers is 207. Servers running configuration is 18. So that means there are several configuration servers, which are typically the app servers, repeaters, and so on. Servers running compliance, 11. Servers running patching, 190, and none of them are running provisioning. And this month alone, we have added 182 servers, and none of them were decommissioned. So if you go and look at the reports here that are stored here, so let's go. It prints out two of them. One is called the report details, and the other is report summary. So if you go into the report summary, so the same thing is run here. For example, if I run the same thing instead of the February, if I run the whole thing for, let's say, 2010 or 2015, such an old time whenever we started tracking all the servers in the environment, it's going to bring up a lot of information, which is what is stored in this report detail summary.
So if you look at the report detail summary here, which is the Excel spreadsheet, you can see that it's organized by the month. So 2015, April is when we started managing this environment. April, May, nothing was added, no server change in June. So we skipped to July. So this will only print the months where the servers were actively managed. So if you look at the number of managed servers in April 2015, there were two and then number of servers added in that time was two. The next month in May, we added four more. So the second column here, managed server six, is cumulative total. So you can see that the column B is actually cumulative and it ends up as 207 in the month of January in 2017. And this is not cumulative. This is for each month. So we have added each month this month. So if you add all of this, you will get 207. And out of which, if you see each of the columns, servers running configuration, like I said, configuration is things, uh, servers that maintain all the configurations, such as the app servers, the repeaters, the proxies, and so on. And the servers running compliance, servers running patching, servers running provisioning. So this environment is not being used for provisioning. You can see it's consistently zero. And then servers added and servers decommissioned. So this is uh, one thing to note here is the configuration, some of the servers that run compliance can also be running patching. So in which case they will be counted in both the columns. So that's one thing to remember. And we also have something called a detailed report. So if you look at the detailed report, it should be similar to whatever we have in this concise report or the summary report. So in 2015, April 2015, we added two servers, if you see here. So those two servers, if you go into the detailed report, it tells us what are the two servers that are added in that month. So one is, this is the server name. These two servers were added. So in May 2015, we added four more servers. So those four servers are these. In July, we added one server. In August, we added two servers and so on till when we come to January of 2017, that's when we added a bunch of servers. So if we scroll down, trying to get this into the view here. So 2017, if you see, it starts here and then we added 182 servers. So you can see many servers were imported in that month. So this gives you a view of a licensed servers, active servers that are being used in the environment in various columns. And the summary report is a very useful report. And the total managed servers, this column is the most important one because this gives you the number of servers that are actively managed and licensed and being used in the environment. And if you want to read more about these commands and how these numbers represent the licenses. It is given in our document page. Let's just pull that up here for a quick review. So if you go to docs.bmc.com and you can just go to the site or search for evaluating license and product usage trends, it will bring up this page and you can go through this. It talks about dashboard reports and how to run the commands that I just showed you, BLCLI commands and how to read the summary report sample as well as the detailed report Excel sheet. Thank you very much for watching the video.